Hey, look at that. A gaming journalist decided to be stupid. Again! I'm shocked! So Screen Rant decided to make themselves even less of a reliable source of information by putting out a review on the new Wukong game. In that review, they talked about all the standard stuff, you know, bosses, abilities, everything else under the stun. But the one thing that got everybody in a frenzy was this section about the lack of female representation in the game. What? Now I know all of us in nerd and gaming culture collectively throw up in our own mouths when we hear the word representation. And at this point, it seems like a way for irrelevant people to just grasp onto the last bit of attention that they can get by throwing that word into the discussion of anything that comes up within that culture. Like honestly, what person with a moderately functioning brain is thinking about the representation of a game when you play as a monkey with a stick and magical abilities? But you see, this is evidence of an even bigger problem. The person who wrote this article included this section as a way to draw eyes to their review. I mean, who's really going to Screen Rant for reviews, honestly? I don't even know if they truly believe what they're saying, because as we all know, people will do anything to draw eyes to their failing content and outlet. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. The best part about the stupidity of this section of the review is that only a few sentences in, they completely make their argument not worth listening to because they didn't even get past chapter two when other outlets actually played longer. So let me get this straight. You played a very small slice of the game, and then based off that extremely small slice, you were going to condemn the devs for not having some arbitrary requirement that you expect them to have in their game, which you have no idea if they did or they didn't put it in the game because you didn't get past the first two chapters. If you can't play a game without immediately getting triggered because there's a lack of insert here representation, maybe it's time to find a new hobby. If you're even a fan of gaming, I mean, we've all seen how the true fans of Star Wars have made the franchise better with their representation. The rapid decline of the state of gaming journalism is truly sad to watch on one hand. But on the other hand, I'm actually happy that Screen Rant made this review like this because it's one more step down the ladder to the hell of irrelevance for these gaming outlets. It truly does my heart good. Honestly, it really does. As annoying as articles like this are, it's exactly what we should want. We should want these idiots to make articles and videos about the lack of representation in gaming. Please make as many as you can. Just report yourselves to the community so that we know exactly who the people that we should and shouldn't listen to are. And the beautiful thing about it is, there's no way for them to possibly hide it because they can't help themselves. If a game doesn't have their quota of representation, they'll have an aneurysm if they don't get up on their soapbox and talk about it. We gotta get these pandering fake gamers out of the gaming community. And I'm not even talking about just gaming. We gotta get them out of media in general. Let's just get them all out of here because they're doing nothing but just ruining beloved titles and franchises. But that's all I got to say about the situation. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Did you get upset about it or did you not care about it at all? Or if you're a person that lives under the rock, did you not even know that this happened? Again, get in the comments, let me know. Also get in the comments, let me know if there's a franchise that you care about, not even just gaming, media in general, that was ruined by the representation warriors. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. Y'all take care. So Screen Rant decided to make themselves even... Oh, so Screen Rant decided to make themselves even less of a... Nah.